Okay, so I don't know if this is a bodge, a tech tip, a fucking life hack or what, but if you are doing a handbrake change and you've been so daft as to yank the handbrake shoes out or you've had the the disc stuck on the hub, this is a 36, sorry, this is an E46 trailing arm. If you have had the misfortune to have the uh, the little eyelet, little retaining things for these little doodads pull through, you've got, as far as I'm aware at the moment, two options. You can take a quarter inch extension, drop it down the holes, give them a little knock and put the edges down flatter again, just don't go too far and that will usually do the job if it's only been pulled through once before. If you've got more corrosion on there and it, or it's more damaged than this, or whatever else, there is <laughs> a budget and scarper type fix you can do. You take your old pin and you file those two ears off of it, you will end up with about a four millimeter shaft. Pop down to your local DIY store, grab yourself an M4 die, get yourself an M4 nut and washer, like this. You see, very carefully file off those two ears at the top, either side here, and just thread the very end of that. Now this only works if you're fortunate enough to be able to get to the get to the back up in here of this admittedly however in a bind if you can get there this will do you a job um, obviously you thread that and then you use the nut and the washer and you can screw that into place when you're doing this be very careful not to throw the threads too high too too deep onto the onto the shaft because what you want is to be able to put a socket behind there or a spanner or something and you want to lock it on the end of the thread so that way you're not using thread lock it's not going to rattle loose you just crank that down into there just enough to tweak it into the to the uh, unthreaded part of the shank all right so luckily enough this one actually if i show you the other side <coughs> see that there that one that's actually been knocked back down again and that will actually uh, See if I can get in the place where you can see. That actually will. That will. Can you see it there? Not quite. That will actually hold. That side will hold. So will the other side if I knock it back down. Give me mates one who's got this. Same issue on his car. Um, the backing plates on these, you've got to take the wheel bearing off, you've got to replace the entire thing, it's a pain in the ass job. If you want to get you through job enough till the next year's MOT or whatever else, like I say, take your old one, grind these two ears off the side of it very carefully because this shaft is just over 4mm anyway. Thread the very end of it, M4 nut and washer, so long as you can get to the back of this backing plate, and as you can see on here, I don't know if you can actually, you can see just down in there, that's the back of the hole. You can just about reach it. A little bit of super glue on the washer or the nut or both, whatever else. It's fiddly, it's a pain in the ass, but it is a whole hell of a lot less expensive and a whole hell of a lot quicker in most cases if you wanted to get through the job to grind it off, tap and uh, to thread it and just bolt it in place. It makes no difference to the operation of these. What you want is just the thickness of the nut to be threaded on the end of this. Anything more, you're gonna to put too much compression on here and you could bind the spring. Shouldn't be an issue, there should be some free play. Anything less than that, you're not gonna get full engagement. So there you go. A little, um, little budget and scarper tip for you. If you're in a bind, you need to get things done and uh, these are pulled through on you. That will do the job. Alright? There you go.